And then in 2007, this very famous uh, book was published, Judas Thoughts on Confucian Analects, which is a modern interpretation of the Analects by Confucian. Yudan, uh, the author, proposes a modern reading of the Analects of Louis, starting from the analysis of a few athletes taken from the works attributed to Confucian. In a vivid and fresh style, Yudan entertains the Chinese reader commenting some meaningful passages of the Analects and inviting him to a visitation of the ancient culture in order to understand contemporary life. The Analex maintains Yudan as the greatest expression of Chinese culture, therefore it is necessary to read them and understand them. They talk about everyday life in the first common people, helping them to find the way now lost to harmony. Yudan denounces the loss of traditional values in contemporary society, in which man is attracted only by success, money and material wealth. Thus, she invites the reader to rediscover Confucian ethics, those values taught more than 2,000 years ago by the Master, but still of great actuality. Humanity, rent, love, empathy, respect of family ties, friendship, and the traditional rules of conduct inside the family and in society. The brief and organic Confucian ethics are represented again in an age characterized by a modernization and emulation of Western culture, in which the author recognized the need to get back to Chinese tradition, to the values and ideals of Confucian thought. But since pre imperial times, the first decades of the 20th century have always guided and animated Chinese intellectual. And here you have the cover, the cover of the book by Yudan. And then we have here Obama, who is quoting a famous passage of the Lumi. He who walks through the past to understand the present can be considered a true master. Obama understands that to undertake any kind of political and economic transactions with the Chinese, it is necessary to fully acknowledge their millionaire Chinese cultures, and does so by quoting his ethics taken from the analysts. In Shanghai, he gives a speech addressed to a group of students and declares that each country must chart its own course. China is an ancient nation with a deeply rooted culture. The United States, by comparison, is a young nation. We do not seek to impose any system of government on any other nation, but freedom of expression and worship, of access of information, political participation what we believe are universal rights. We don't seek to contain Chinese rights, says Obama. On the contrary, we welcome China as a strong, prosperous, and successful member of the community of nations. A China that draws on the rights, strength, and creativity of individual Chinese like you.